Meanwhile, a group of students at Boise High School are demanding action from Congress and state lawmakers to stop gun violence in schools. Students demonstrated outside Boise High today to take part in a national campaign. Locally, it's organized by March for Our Lives Idaho. Andrew Bartline was at the high school today talking to students, and we want to know kind of what they're hoping to find out. Andrew? Well, they're asking for laws and regulations that ensure there is safety in schools. NBC has been tracking school shooting data back since 2013. In that time, they say 57 school shootings have killed 110 people. This year alone, three shootings have killed nine and injured six. Again, just for this calendar year. March for Our Lives Idaho promoted this as a walkout, but with it being during lunch and free time, it really was more of a demonstration. Around 60 students at any given time were in this gathering in front of the school. They chalked up the sidewalks and pillars on the school building. Notably, the students held signs showing phone numbers of Idaho's congressmen as well, which really fits their message of wanting a change in gun laws to create a change in school safety. It feels wrong that my own that my own mother has less rights than an inanimate object that was made for killing. Because plain and simple, guns main purpose are to kill. Our students shouldn't be out here fighting for our lives. We should be advocating for other things such as our education. But to think that this is what we're advocating for, it's it's like a part-time job that we shouldn't be having and it it really it saddens me. The students I spoke with say they feel we've become desensitized to gun violence. Chalk drawings included outlines of bodies on the ground and messages that include language such as actions are greater than thoughts and prayers, using that math symbol for greater than. And with 60 or so students showing out to demonstrate, Boise High School for Context has around 1,400 students in total. I asked the students what success looks like for an event like this, Brian. They said to be acknowledged, to be heard, but specifically for people in positions of power, whether that's at the State House or the Congress to hear them. Did they say how long they expect those drawings to stay on the concrete? <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I don't know if there's any rain in the forecast, yeah. but I imagine that might wash it away. That might help that. All right. Thank you very much, Andrew.